My name is Thomas Vale. Or at least it was. I'm a photographer. I had it all. A wife, Allison. Friends, a career. And in one moment, it was all taken away. All because of a single photograph. I have it. They want it. And they will do anything to get the negative. I think Nowhere Man is about identity. It's very much about individualism in a way. And it's actually very autobiographical, um, not in a literal sense of these specific things happened to me, but it's very autobiographical in terms of this is how I grew up seeing the world and experiencing the world. So he's certainly not based on any literary character. Uh, it's also well known that the inspiration for the series was uh, the television series, the British series, The Prisoner, which I believe actually dealt with a very similar theme. I think within the episodes of Nowhere Man, we went more deeply into specifics, whereas I think the prisoner uh, had their general idea and then just sort of enjoyed being weird with it, although there were some very uh, allegorical episodes of the prisoner that I really loved and I loved the whole show. Um, but no, the, this, is, this is a show that came straight from, it's probably why I love The Prisoner. Hey, that, that was my life, except we didn't speak with British accents and uh, set out to do Nowhere Man and not be as cerebral as The Prisoner. Out. Not that there isn't that level to the show, but I wanted Nowhere Man to have more of an emotional impact. You don't go along with Paul's idea of heaven. He sees to it that you spend your life in hell. I was hit when I saw the pilot. You know, I thought there was, yeah, there's a lot of great ideas here. But usually when you see, when you're in the television business, you see a lot of pilots, you're up for shows, you look at pilots, you pop them in. It's a cool medium. Come on, Allison, what are the rules of the game here? I don't know Who what you're- Who put you up to this? I don't know what you're talking about. Cut the crap. Just cut the crap, okay? It's about the photograph, isn't it? Once we were beyond the pilot, people started saying, what is this series? The series is, uh, to, you know, to sit down and have a cool time every week about watching, you know, some unnamed bad guys mess with someone's head in the coolest uh, ways, in ways that are fun, in ways that make you say, hey, you know, that was really great. Did you see that? I, I really had no purpose other than that, except to capture that theme that I'm saying was so um, important to me, which is, can we create a man, in, in, in this case, in Tom Vale, who has the courage that probably no real life person has to the degree a fictional character can, that will take everything away from you, we will take everything you know, your identity, the loves, the comfort of other human beings, the security of uh, external identifications, career, da 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 da, da name it, and yet you refuse to give up. The prisoner function probably, I think Larry is right, more consistently at a higher level intellectually, but wasn't as affecting emotionally as, as Nowhere Man was. Nowhere Man, there are several episodes that just blow you away emotionally. They just affect you for a show that is, you know, neither here nor there, sort of out there a little bit, you know, Twilight Zone-ish a little bit. It, it hits you emotionally. Conversation's over, friend. You either turn and leave. Hold it, Blake. We'll carry you out of here. I, mean, I always said, in retrospect, that that was the Nowhere Man was the only show I did that was sort of zero humor, but that's not true at all. Yeah. I don't know why I thought that, and I said that for a long time. And in Spiderweb yeah. is probably one of the most, uh, or I should say, least subtle humor, and it is outrightly has some funny stuff about cable public yeah. access actors and performers yeah. and you know the people who would be at the bar watching this show and 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 enjoying it i love spiderweb and i love spiderweb because it it not only was such a cool idea of what if you walk in and see your own life on tv it makes me laugh to think you see your own life on tv is a bad cable show but right. you add to it that it was so nowhere man in that it got to play out some wonderful themes. I don't know some men. But who? Government, military, That's what did I they know. say? I didn't want to put you in this situation. Them. 
I'm sorry, does he have to grab me like that? Because I spend a long time on my hair, and that just totally ruins it. We use the cable show as a way, because when Tom first sees the show, he's seeing his past from the, actually from the pilot, this being acted by these actors. <laughs> and by the middle of the episode, it has caught up to where he is in his life now. And so the question becomes, will the show predict his behavior or does he have the capability of behaving in a way that the show can't predict? You see, it's an attitude like that that keeps getting you into trouble. Don't you realize there's no future in running? Well, I've done okay so far. Oh, is that so? What makes you so sure of that? So it's all about free will and predictability and sort of for a knower man. I mean, I don't think anyone was brought oxygen because they were laughing so hard, but I mean, in a, in a sort of sly, set, satirical humor kind of way, uh, Tom was being taunted and tested to see you know, well, do you or don't you? Can you make a decision? Can you turn left when you're expected to turn right? In its own way, kind of mind-blowing that it was so different than, say, even, you know, the first the few episodes that preceded it. The humor of it was like it was out there a little bit. It was dark and edgy, and yet it was vaudevillian, you know, yeah. which was great. I'd never well, seen Joel, I'd never Joel seen that. Well, Joel definitely was the one who called Richard Kind's name to play Max Webb because Joel had worked with him. I didn't know him. Right. Right. And it ended up being just a perfect call. What point do you think you're trying to make? I don't know. I don't, okay. I think, I, I think it has something to do with identity. You know, the, the individual against the oppressive, faceless society. But I don't know whether I'm making my point very well. I mean, again, you know, this is going to come up again if we talk enough about the show time and time again. You, you can't imagine how much fun it is for writers who have spent a good deal of time writing episodic television where even though, what a joy, I mean, it's a, it's a job that we're all happy we get paid to do, but you're, you're doing variation on show A, B, C, and D, and there's yeah. no doubt about that you're doing that. Right. So to, to come into a room every day at work yeah. and start with the most preposterous thing, like what if he saw his own life on TV, and no one in the room is saying, oh, I know what that'll be. Oh, I know what the bad right. guy, who the bad guys will be, or I know right. what the crime is, or how they hid the body, or how they blew the safe, or da da da. Nobody knows, and for, I think for, uh, for a writer, what could be better? And then the satisfaction to come up with something that's, that doesn't suck, hopefully. Yeah. And when you do hit it, you just, it just felt so great. I mean, it, it was a unique and special experience. <sighs> what happens. This was by far the best experience I had had in TV, possibly in the business in general. I had written several uh, feature films that had not been made and, uh, at that time, and uh, this, was, this was the best creative experience I was ha had had up to you that know, point. It, it, it was a small shop yeah, very with people small. doing something. It wasn't even a three, like a two bedroom house. Right. I mean, a, it was risky a, business. Mike Sullivan, at a UPN made the big mistake of leaving the kids at home and saying, yeah. sometimes you gotta just say, what the f and, and And basically, he left me in a room. I called my friends, you know, new friends, and, you know, we got in trouble when our parents came home. It's that simple. Boy, did yeah. they yell at us.